What up guys, Ashley Elizabeth here with AHM Artistry and today I'm going to be doing my roots right here on camera and testing out a new color line. Well, at least it's new for me. It's not necessarily new, but I have not used it before. The company reached out to me to find out if I'd be interested in testing out some of their colors and shampoos and conditioners. And I had some questions before I agreed to it. So my first question for any brands that want to reach out to me and have me try their products is, are you a cruelty free brand and do you sell anywhere that animal testing is required? Emailed the rep and said, hey, I'm a cruelty free channel only. That's all I show. Are you guys 100% cruelty free? No ingredients were ever tested on animals and you do not sell in areas such as China that requires animal testing. And the response was so lovely and articulate and more brands should be like this that was they were super awesome super sweet they said that being cruelty free is the one of the core foundations of what they believe in as a brand so that was super refreshing to hear and their permanent hair color line is manufactured in Italy and everything else right here in the USA and they do not believe in animal testing and they do not sell anywhere that requires it as a stylist I work with a lot of different hair color brands you'd be surprised how many hair color color brands still test on animals, even shampoos and conditioners and stuff. So with that being said, there are a couple brands that I love and are awesome, but if I can add this one to my, you know, store of tricks, that would be wonderful. So the hair care brand named Da Vinci sent me some products to try. Da Vinci hair color is available online and I will pop their link right in the description box as I normally do, but wait to watch the whole episode before you decide if this is for you. Let me show you what I am trying out today. So I will be starting with the packet of blue bleach that they sent. So they do sell these individually. They're somewhere around like $3. They sent me two just in case. I should be good with one. That should be plenty. And then the developer, they sent me 30 volume. I recommend doing 20, especially if you're at home, but uh, I have 20, so I will be using that. The colors that they sent me, look at how cute this packaging is, super cute. And the there is 3.4 ounces of color in here. That's a lot, that's a lot of color in there. And they sent me the shades Prune Juice and Violet Balm. So I will probably only need maybe like a half of one of these each. I'm gonna do a blend, you know, kind of how my ombre is blended. I'll even be mixing one with conditioner to see how that works as well as my normal one. And then this is the shampoo and the conditioner for maintenance that they sent me to try. So let's go ahead and give these a smell while we're at it. And it's sulfate free, paraben free, and adds UV protection. Oh, it smells so good. So this one is a color care shampoo and conditioner. It's supposed to help with fading and keeping the hair nice and vibrant. Oh yes, and I forgot to mention, these are organic. So this is an organic shampoo and conditioner. So they use ing organic ingredients in it. That is super cool and super hard to find as well. All right, there are the products that I'm gonna try. So time to try them. I am a licensed stylist, so I know how to do this myself. If you do not feel comfortable doing this at home, do not do it. And I have to put all these disclaimers there. So if you feel comfortable, if you are licensed, cool beans. But I just want you to see what all this is about. So without further ado, let's slap on this hair color. Ah! Well, okay, that is, that's a look, hmm? Now it is time to mix up our ombre purple or shadow root purple, whatever you wanna call it. And by the way, if you're wondering where instructions are on color container thingamajigs, you unroll the box and then boom, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Your bleach processing time will vary depending on the color that you need to get to. So they do have that all based on the color selection that they have. Now this hair color does need to be done on dry hair. This is a semi-permanent color, so it is supposed to last a little bit longer than say a temporary like manic panic or something like that. So I did go ahead and blow dry my hair after I wash. And then the processing time is 
it says for 20 minutes it'll process fully anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes so if your hair is resistant you can put a processing cap on it leave it on up to 40 minutes it all depends on your hair type your stylist will know what to do and let's go ahead and mix i'm going to show you the little formula that i like to do so i like it to be that purpley blue right right on my roots first i'm gonna put in the violet balm yeah you don't really need that much and I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna start with, it has little notches on the side, so I'm gonna start with, let's start with a half an ounce. You can always mix more, right? But you can't mix less. You can't save it if you've used it. So there is Violet Balm right there. Going in with prune juice now. Paper towel right here to do my swatches from my bowl. And the paper towel kind of tells you a little bit about how it will look. Yes. Perfect. This is almost exactly the same as the Pravana that I was using. Prune juice. Yeah, and that is purple, purple. Perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix a little bit of the prune juice and conditioner. So I want it to be very light pastel, very, very light. And I'm going to put so much in there. So about that much to start. And then with my middle shade, which is the prune juice, I'm gonna do a little dollop. Bloop. And then let's go ahead and mix her up. Okay, let's see. Let's add a smidge bit more of prune juice and a little bit of conditioner. Add that much more and just mix away. See a little, little more vibrant because you don't want it to be too pastel where it's more so just a toner and it doesn't really do anything. And just like we did before, we're going to section off the hair into four quadrants. All right, so section there, there, and there. Now, unlike bleach where it is best to start in the back because the hair takes longer to process in the back, I like to do my ombres slash shadow roots starting at the front so I can see exactly where I want it to go and then follow it back and then the processing time is fine. It's not gonna over process. And of course, don't forget to put on your gloves and I definitely recommend wearing gloves when you're doing bleach too. I've just been doing it forever and but with this, don't even, don't even consider forgetting your gloves because your hands will be staying purple for as long as your hair is. Well, not that long, but a long time and it will be super annoying. So starting with the Violet Balm, let's go in. All I'm gonna do for this one is a little, a little bit. Not there, not there yet. And to me, it's okay if the little hairs go because it just helps it blend. Do the same on this side. Not covering up the, the band that I had completely. And if you wanna know how I kept my hair as purple as it was before I bleached it, you can click that link up there or you can watch it at the end and you can see how I maintain this purple hair with the viral shampoo line and work really, really well. So I would do this all around the hairline first. This color actually smells really good. It's quite nice. So it's just right on the roots. Now I'm gonna switch to prune juice, that more purple tone. I'm gonna drag it a little bit, not all the way to the root, but just in the middle. You're now basically covering any kind of bleached area if you were just doing a root touch up, because then after that will be the other tone. Okay, now check your work. See if that is as far down as you want it before you actually go in and start doing your panels. Prune juice a smidge bit farther with the vertical side of my brush just like this. See, it's almost like feathered. Just kind of skipping around. And then I'm going in with the lightest one I mixed up. Make sure there's a nice seamless blend through all of that. Kind of wiggle it. So now I'm gonna do a next section and I just take it right through grabbing down here where there's not as much color. And then you just repeat that over and over again until your whole head is done. So this is Violet Balm is right here. Now going in with prune juice. And then my light color mixture.
All right, timer says all done. Stop. Ah. Okay, timer's all done. 20 minutes just for my hair will be plenty. So I'm gonna wash this out with shampoo and then condition it, blow dry it, and then you guys will see the finished result and I can see my overall final thoughts on the Da Vinci color line, okay? Okay guys, we are back. Sorry, I have to have the brightness up on my light a lot because it is now nighttime. I actually had to take a break and go eat some tap food because we were super hungry and I needed to eat. So I wanted to show you guys all this up close and really let this light shine so my face might be a little bit washed out, so sorry. And my face has been through it, two showers of rinsing and it's not looking the best. But I wanted to show you guys, I'll pop up a video really quick up here that's super ridiculous, showing off my hair. And I have to say, first impressions, this color is extremely shiny. I am loving how shiny it is and soft and bouncy. So a little bit of the color and a little bit of the shampoo and conditioner probably help with that. The shampoo and conditioner definitely is not heavy at all. It smells nice and it's not sticky or anything like that. It was super easy to comb out my hair as well. I actually ran out of one of my detangling sprays that I usually use and I was still able to detangle it, no problem. So that was really cool. And then what else? The color was super easy to apply as you saw. You know, there's just the different steps. But I will say when I was washing my color out, this color bled much easier into the other, you know, the platinum part that I didn't have color on easier than the Pravana did, which is what I was using before. So moving forward, I would just put conditioner down here and then rinse out and that would create like a barrier. So that would solve that problem, but it didn't stain my shower. So it bled easier, but it didn't stain my shower. So I did like that because the other one does stain my shower. Oh, and then as far as the colors go, I really like the color overall. It's really pretty, but I will say the Violet Balm is way more blue then, I don't know, the Pravana one was pretty blue, but this one in some lighting areas looks really, really blue. And I think it'll kind of tone down after a couple days, but you can see how the prune juice is more of a pinky purple, where the Violet Balm is more of a like blue blue. So I kind of knew that going into it, but I still wanted to give it a shot and see how it pulled because I wanted to test it for you guys. So if you were interested in these colors, know that the Violet Balm is more of that blue purple, and then the prune juice is more of your pinky purple. So those are the kind of undertones. Next time, I'd probably just go with the prune juice. Maybe a dash of this mixed in with the prune juice. I like this look, it's really cool, but but yeah, it definitely is more on the blue side, kind of like a sonic blue. And then I also like that the processing time was as low as 20 minutes all the way up to 40 minutes. I hate sitting around waiting for things to process, so it was nice and fast. And then you had to do this on dry hair. Some of them you can do it on damp hair, so I do like the option of damp hair, but it's not that big deal. But it's pretty much the same since you don't have to process as long to dry it and then process with less time. So now you heard my disclaimer in the beginning. I am a professional stylist, so I do know how to work my way around a color tube or two. So if you're not comfortable with doing this, enlist your fellow stylist. And if you do like how these work out, ask them if you can purchase them and bring them in. These can be found on davidshe.com. I will link the website down below for you to check out. And as far as I saw when I was looking up some information on this, up to April 15th of 2018, right now they had some discounts on the semi-permanent color. And then these two were only $9.99 a piece so actually a very reasonable price and I used a little more than half an ounce so for me just the root area between the two of them I would probably use a half a bottle which would be two applications and on here it does say two applications and then if you get it and you're forgetting where the instructions are they're in the carton and then the bleach had it on the back and the shampoo and conditioner, well, you'll have to come back in a month and see how I overall enjoyed it. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. If this was your first time here, please go down and hit that little subscribe button and join our community. I am a beauty channel and I post makeup, skincare, hair care, all that fun stuff and have so much fun communicating with you guys down in the comment section. So if you do have any questions, leave it down in the comment section and either I will try my best to answer it or maybe another fellow beauty junkie will try to answer it for you guys and we'll all have some fun because Hair is for fun, makeup's for fun, woo! And if you're not new here, thank you so much for your support. As always, you guys are super awesome and I hope you guys have a great, lovely day.